I had the license in my pocket, had a fresh haircut, and I was like, I'm going to go find a for sale by owner, and I'm going to get that listing. Two things I want to show you this morning. Brittany is definitely listening to my 5 a.m. talk. Maybe not all of them, but she caught yesterday's, and I know this because a surprise showed up in the exact location where I normally film, and she knows that because it's her kitchen. Check this out. Not one, not two, but three. That's right, three of the Nantucket Blend Green Mountain Coffee that we talked about yesterday that was on sale. And you know what? She loves me so much that she went back to the grocery store and bought three more boxes of this stuff because it's on sale. And that's what she does. Man, she loves me. Um, number two thing, check it out, man. I got a haircut. Haircuts are my, it's like my power tie. You know what I'm talking about? In Florida, we don't wear suits. I'm sorry, we don't wear like the full, we just don't do it. Um, some do it. For the most part, we're like, we think we're Malibu style agents, but we're, you know, we wear polos and jeans and I don't know, every once in a while we get dressed up. But I don't have a power tie. This is the power tie. When I get a haircut, I could take over the world. I'm telling you. It's like everything makes me want to get up and just go do it. Go go hit that meeting. Uh, go get the listing. I can close any deal. Uh, if you want to talk to me on the phone, I'm going to be like, let's, let's go. I'm all in. Let's make this thing happen. Um, and it's just like the biggest confidence booster ever. If Every three weeks, I get the, the thing you know all cleaned up, and I'm, I'm ready to take it on. If you're like that, man, let me know. I'm. It's the, I, it is, it, what else is it? Is what? What about you? What about you? It gives you that confidence booster. What is the thing that you put on every day, or that you get taken care of, or like the thing you treat yourself to that is just the, all right, I'm ready. I got the haircut. Or I got the power tie. I've got the dress. I've got this purse. You know, what is it about you that you put on? And you're like, all right, this is my jam today. I got this. Uh, let me know. I'm interested in what in what you guys what you guys do. What your your daily uh, motivation thing is that gets you amped up and ready to go close the deal is. But uh, so I it made me so I was reaching that coffee mug and maybe bust off this because it made me think of Lewis Lit from Suits. Speaking of suits and getting dressed up, uh, anybody a Suits fan? I don't know. Uh, this mug, remember you just got lit up. Come on, Lewis Lit. You got the you just got lit up mug. Yeah. My brother and sister-in-law got me this mug for one Christmas. Total surprise. Opened it up and I was like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love this mug. I love Lewis Lit. He's like the underdog that you don't want to root for because um, he's kind of annoying. But he still goes for it, man. He's still, he has his things and he probably shouldn't be. The, he's the typical guy that should not be a senior partner. Um, makes tons of the, of the wrong moves, uh, but still wins enough and goes for enough, has the confidence enough to pull it off and become the top dog uh, in his firm. And, um, you know, one of his things is mudding, right? Like, Lewis Litt goes mudding. Uh, mudding, not like in a, in a four-wheel drive truck and, you know, go crazy mudding. He uh, goes to these swanky spas where you, you know, dunk yourself in mud. And when he comes out of the mud, man, it's like he's rejuvenated. He's totally rejuvenated. Um, and maybe we should all do that. Maybe we should all start taking care of ourselves, taking the time to put on that power tie, go mudding, get the haircuts more often, um, and do those things because it gives you the confidence to go out there and, and be and just go for it. And here's a, so here's a funny story about going for it. In my first week, really, of real estate, my first week of real estate, I was probably 22-ish, 21-ish. I think, um, and 
the market was hot. It was good. Uh, I was in a smaller regional area. I wasn't in a big urban area. I wasn't even in a big area enough like where I'm at now, which is uh, in the Orlando, Central Florida area. Um, so there wasn't a ton of agents, uh, but there also wasn't a ton of listings. We weren't a high density uh, area. It was Southern Illinois. I said Illinois. <laughs> Southern Illinois. Sorry, Illinoisans. Um, and I, I, have, I just got my license, was driving around. I knew that I wanted to be in the luxury space, right? So I wanted to, I wanted to brand myself and be in, in the luxury space, had all the gusto, all, uh, all of the energy to go do this thing. Totally unexperienced agent, probably shouldn't have even been thinking about it, but I was going to go for it. So I started talking to a couple people that were counseling me who were kind of like my mentors when I first got set up in real estate. And one of those people happened to be my mother who has had been in real estate for years before I decided to get my license. Uh, and, you know, her her smart advice was just, you know, take your time, ease yourself into it, get some listings. But um, basically she was just saying, go do mailers, go knock on doors, you know, go find those for sale by owners, just get active, go out there, introduce yourself and just hit the pavement running. I'm going, yeah, let's do that. I got this. And then I had my this other mentor of mine. Um, I'll call, I'll call her Pessimist Peggy. Pessimist Peggy um, was a very successful agent. Uh, she wasn't like a crazy producer, but very successful. And her shtick was, you know, just stick to the basics at first. Just go, you know, get one listing, try and just and do it. Get something that's small, that doesn't take a lot, that you just get your feet wet and do something. That's just not my personality type. I, I was ready to go. I was going to take on this real estate. I was going to conquer the world by the age of, by the age of 25. I was going to have a multinational global real estate platform. <laughs> and so here's what I did. Here's the story. I drove around for about, I don't know, three hours that day looking for for sale by owners. True story. I found, I don't know, five for sale by owners. No joke. Just driving around, hopped in the car, had nowhere to go, had no idea where I was going to go, just started driving through neighborhoods. For sale by owner, for sale by owner, probably like between $100,000 and $10,000 homes all the way up to, I don't know, $250,000 houses. Nothing that was just like picking me, nothing that spoke to me and I was going, this is the house, I can, I, I'm going to sell this house, you know, and that was just a lot of the cockiness of being, you know, 21, 22 is I just... For some reason, that house was beneath me. And, you know, that's another video. Don't do that. No house is beneath you. Always go for the listing. Get the sale because, you know what? A listing's a listing. Nonetheless, I finally hit this neighborhood that is the, the swankiest, biggest, massive neighborhood in, like, the southern Illinois, an Illinois community I'm living in. And I'm talking about... These houses were huge, totally non-gated community, just drove right in, probably had, I don't know, 15, 20 houses in it, all definitely over a million dollar houses, um, just gorgeous. I mean, we're talking, I mean, fully manicured, subdivision, everything was taken care of, everything was matching, the houses had to have been 8,000 plus square feet. I mean, there was, these were gorgeous Southern Illinois houses. And sure enough, four houses in, I make the turn in, and there's a sign in the yard. And I'm, I'm, my first thought is, it's a pest control sign. It's a, you know, vote for whoever political party they're affiliated with. Sign, I'm getting closer and closer, and it's just a simple white for sale by owner sign. So my mind immediately goes, there's no way this has got to be like, like a garage sale thing, a, a car thing. Nope, get closer. It's the house. Six bedroom, five bath call this number and I'm going, I'm not going to call the number. I'm sitting right in front of this house. And this is why I'm saying, find the confidence and go for it. Everybody told me not to go get this house. I made the call. Hey, I'm in front of this house. Uh, I've got to go knock on this door. Is there anything legally that I need to know about before I knock on this door and introduce myself as a real estate? Is there anything I have to say? Cause I'm new. I'm not talking three days into real estate this one time. Don't have a listing, never made a sale, nothing called my two mentors, Pessimist Peggy, do not do it. Um, you're going to get in way over your head. You know, these types of, of sellers are just ridiculously needy. And there's a lot of things you have to do with a house that size. You know, call my mom. 
hey, you know, if you want to do it, do it. Uh, it's a lot to take on. You might want to start with something smaller. Uh, but hey, if, you, if you're there, go knock on the door. Why not? You're here there. And so I muster up enough courage. I'm looking nice. I'm in my 90s, whatever, Jeep Wrangler. It's not the fanciest of cars. I'm not driving like a BMW or something nice where I'm going to pull up to a house like this and go, hey, I'm ready to roll. Use me as a real estate agent that this people are probably used to seeing. And I'm not totally dressed up, but you know what? I've got the haircut. I've got the haircut. And I get out of that Jeep Wrangler. I walk up the door. I knock, knock, knock. Guess what? Someone's home. The door opens. And there's this lovely woman with her you know, kid. And I just start going into my spiel. Hey, I'm Travis, a real estate agent in the area. Just trying to pick up a couple of new listings. I've got this great marketing campaign that I'm starting. And I noticed that you've got this for sale by owner sign and yeah, i just love to talk to you Are, have you been approached by any agents and and if not you know is there a reason why i can't be yours and you know this every every i'm going through this spiel and every ounce of me is thinking i'm gonna get the door slammed on my face you know i'm 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 telling you this because this is I mean, this is my spiel now but I, I i couldn't even tell you what I was. I was probably stumbling like a total idiot through whatever speech i was telling this lady and, you know, what she said to me, actually, you know, we were just talking about this last night over dinner. We were talking about how we've had the market on the for sale by owner, and it would just benefit us to go ahead and just get an agent to get it on the MLS and get it listed and see what happens. But face melter. See, here I am, three days in, totally green. Complete rookie, have no idea what I'm selling, should not probably even going after this listing because I have no idea how to even put a house on the market yet in the multiple list system. And this lady's looking at me going, I don't know. Here's someone that's willing to knock on my door. He looks professional. He's got a good thing going. Let's give him a shot. I give her my business card. I write down her contact information. She says, we know husband we'll talk about it tonight. How about you stop by tomorrow when he gets off of work and we'll, uh, and we'll talk about this. Wrote it down, contacted her the next morning. She said, show up. Went and showed up. Got the listing. It took me 24 hours. I spent all 24 hours putting the best listing presentation you ever seen. Went up, talked with both of them, and I got that listing. True story. One month later, they pulled the listing. Withdrew it. Didn't get to sell. But sometimes that happens. I got the listing. And you know why? Because I had that confidence to go up and go for it. And I want you to go for it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't let people tell you not to go and do it. Go do it. Don't let people sit around and tell you you can't. Don't let, when people laugh at you, prove them wrong. There's too many people out there that are just sitting on their thumbs thinking the same thing that pessimist Peggy was thinking was, oh yeah, you can't go knock on that, and that kind of door. When they're ready, they'll they'll actually have an agent, and um, and that's probably why they didn't get the listing. That's probably why when I knocked on her door, she was so surprised because everybody was so afraid to go knock on this door of this gigantic house. And some people they let the fear just rot in them and destroy them and fester them until it's too late. And they don't take the opportunity or the opportunity passes them by. And I'm telling you, find out what gives you that confidence. Find out what boosts you that confidence. For me, it's the haircut, just a fresh haircut. And I'm like, all right, let's go. If I feel like I've got a really big meeting or a really um, big task or I'm going to go you know, to a really important listing appointment, I'll go get a haircut the day before because it gives me the confidence that I can show up and be like, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. And I do it. And you just go. Don't let anybody bring you down. If you've got an idea, if you want to be at the top, if you want to have that awesome listing, if you want to have 25 listings, if you want to close the deal tomorrow morning with whatever you're working on, just go do it. I'm giving you permission to have the confidence to go. Build it. Go after your dreams and do it.